great to be seen as an artist. I feel privileged to be seen in that light because I literally have been told throughout my career, well, you're not an artist and your work isn't art. And I think um, my start was a little unusual and I think being a woman and being very young made it extremely difficult. Just a crazy trial by fire. I wouldn't wish what I had to go through on anyone. It was very, very prejudiced. And I don't just mean my uh, race, but just what people have said to me and how you've been treated. It, w it was very demeaning at times. And I think, um, you know, it was tough. You can feel the energy now. The last decade, things have really begun to shift in a, in a very exciting way. I think there's a real dialogue now, which is very different from, say, the 70s, 80s, where you had a woman artist. And you almost felt like a, a bit of a token. And now there's this real discussion to talk about, um, about you know, race and gender inequities. In, in the creative field. As an artist, I am so focused on the environment. My voice has been very much locked into uh, looking at the natural world. I think at once I can be both a map maker and a cartographer, but at the same time, I am quietly focusing you on issues. I've never seen myself as a political artist, and yet obviously I am, but I'm not gonna overtly force an opinion on you. I need you to come to your own conclusions and your own experiences with it. But in order to kind of really advocate for change, I'm doing it through the memorials, through literally that hybrid creature between the architecture, which is a functional art form, and the art, which I think is much freer and much more about who you personally are. The earthworks and the wave fields in particular were a really pivotal moment for me when I brought that same aesthetic inside with the two by four landscape. Because how do you do that? How do you recreate that indoors? So then to be able to pull the floor itself and turn that into my landscape, my earth. From climate change as a model, we're at a, we're at a real tipping point. What if art becomes the tulips of our time? And I, I feel like, um, you know, as artists, or for me personally, I just, I, I just feel like, you know, are people gonna look back at our era and go, what were they thinking? Our species, we've always made art. You have to be true to who you are. My advice would be never be intimidated. Never let anyone tell you uh, you can't do what you know you need to do. It might sound a little corny, but you have to kind of follow an inner, an inner truth as to who you are, how you, in a way, enjoy the exploration.